Bonjour, mes amis, and welcome to Gourmet Cooking. Let's do a little Greek cooking today. We're going to take some very nice chicken, saute it, add some aromatic vegetable, make a great sauce, and then place all that in a casserole lined with phyllo dough, that lovely flaky Greek pastry dough, and then run that in the oven. It is something to behold and is so delicious. Along with that, we're going to have cauliflower. We're going to uh, blanch that and then put ham and a beautiful white sauce on top. Real great. And then a round out our meal with a cucumber salad, sliced cucumbers with a tzatziki sauce. That's the yogurt, dill, mint, and garlic, and a little bit of salt and pepper. That's interesting food, and I think we're going to have fun with it. So let's get on with it. But for those of you that are interested, the recipes are on page 88 and page 89 of volume 4, Gourmet Cooking. All right, let's put the recipes aside and go immediately to our cauliflower, since that's going to have to blanch for about 10, maybe 15 minutes. We have boiling salted water on the stove, so we're going to go over now and put this into the boiling water. And we'll let this blanch or come to the boil and cook in this boiling water for about 10 minutes or 15. We'll have to test it to see how well done it is at that point in time. So when we do that, we'll drain it and then we'll prepare our sauce in the meantime and have it ready to go on top with the ham. And then we're going to go now to our chicken. Now what we have done is we've taken four pounds of chicken breast and thighs. We've deboned it and took the skin off and cut it up in small pieces and sauteed that in butter and oil. Now I did that ahead because it just would take too long to do the entire process on camera. But you can see I have some of the chicken already cooked here and I have some already that we cooked a little earlier. So you would simply brown this chicken in your butter and a little bit of oil. We'll remove this now because this will need to go on to another phase and we'll go to that in a moment. So let's get all of the nice, beautiful, flavorful. We did salt and pepper this chicken before we put it into the oil and the butter and right now, we simply want to remove the chicken and get that remaining oil and butter nice and hot because we're going to saute a group of aromatic vegetables in this, in this uh, oil and butter. And there's a little bit of drippings from the chicken, which adds a wonderful flavor as well. So putting our chicken aside over here for a moment, Let's go to the vegetables we'll need. First of all, we have our onion. We need one nice onion. Nice, I mean, by that I mean a medium to large. A lot depends on your own taste. We want to cut that, chop that into pieces. So we'll start with that. And that can go immediately into our oil and butter, and we'll start that cooking. All right, and then we're going to need a little bit of celery. We have two stalks of celery here. You might just put one, it just depends again on your taste. So we want to cut this celery into small pieces, and as you can see, I already have some cut, so we'll add that to our butter and oil, our aromatic vegetables, and get those going real nicely. We need one, two cloves of garlic. I have one already chopped. Let's cut this one. And I'm going to chop this rather than crush it. And we do that just as the onion. We cut it in two or three directions and then chop it. It doesn't have to be too small. It's going to cook down. But we can add the garlic now to our aromatic mixture here. And then one more aromatic vegetable, and I want to talk about that a minute. We have the remnants of a leek, all the green part. We cut that off. It's too tough. Leeks are traditionally very dirty. 
all down in here you have dirt. Two ways to clean it. You can cut it while it's dirty and then wash the chopped. Or you can take a leek and simply cut it down the middle so that it's exposed and then run water all in between those leaves to get the dirt out. Now we've done that already. Now we can cut the root off and we simply want now to chop this leek and add that to our aromatics. Wonderful vegetable, really is. Let's add that. It'll give its own special flavor to all these other ingredients. So now, stirring uh, our vegetables all together, we can let those cook for a moment and go to a couple of other items that we're going to need. We're going to need some parsley. And we can add that now. So chopping our parsley. We'll add that to our aromatics. And another interesting ingredient, which is very Mediterranean, Greek, Italian, uh, pine nuts. These nice crunchy nuts of the pine cone. So we want now to add those and let those cook with our aromatics. And stirring that around a little more. We'll let those cook for a minute or so. And then we're going to remove those to a platter and hold those aside and make the third element for this dish. Now they could cook a little longer, but that's adequate right now. And these will all go into the oven with the other ingredients for a good 50 minutes of cooking. So they're gonna cook a little longer. So putting our vegetables out here, we want now to add to our pot about four tablespoons of butter, turning the heat very high. We want to make a white sauce, and that's going to involve, well, it's more than a white sauce. It's a very special sauce for this. We're going to put flour into that butter in a moment and let that come up to, uh, let that cook, and we're going to add some chicken stock. Now, we already have the chicken stock heating on this stove so that when we put it, it, will, it won't take so long for this sauce to come back to a a boil. So we have our butter. We can add now our four tablespoons of flour. That was four tablespoons of butter. Let that cook a little bit and melt, or just melt. Let that dissolve the flour. And once it's dissolved, we don't need to cook this very long. 20, 30 seconds is adequate, just long enough to let that flour totally dissolve in the butter, and we add now our two and a half cups of hot chicken stock. We'll put that there, turn that fire off, and maybe take that pot off. And bring this, now a whisk will help here. We can blend all that, that should thicken rather quickly. And when it does, and you can see it's coming up to a nice thickness, but we're gonna let that cook a little bit longer in order to be real nice and thick. Now, our next enrichment for that white sauce is going to be a half cup of heavy cream, some nutmeg, And we need four eggs, which we will break right into the cream. Remember, this is going to enrich that sauce and give it a very great enhancement in flavor. And that's what an enrichment is. 
We'll let that thicken a little more. And mixing our eggs and the nutmeg, we're also going to add a little dill weed. And let's go back to our sauce. It needs some basic flavoring, and that's going to be some pepper, salt rather, and black pepper. I can use black or white. Black is appropriate here, since we have so many other ingredients going into this dish. The black pepper won't show. And once we have these mixed, let's take our pot and bring it on to the center here. And now we can add our enrichment. It's wise to do this off heat since you have so much egg and we don't want that egg to curdle. Now, we've got our sauce all blended. It's rich and it's delicious flavor you will not believe. And at this point now, we can add back into the dish our aromatic vegetables with the pine nuts and our chicken. Now we have some lemon slices here we used as a garnish. Let me remove some of those. They don't need to go into the chicken mixture. So all our nice little bite size, all smaller than bite size pieces of chicken added to all those aromatic vegetables and this wonderfully enriched sauce will be the filling for our casserole. Now we put this back on heat, on a low to medium heat and blend all this together. And now we'll go to our casserole dish and line it with our phyllo dough, and we'll talk about that. However, in a minute here, let's stop a moment and go to our broccoli. Let's turn that heat up. It got turned down. And let that cook a little, little longer. Beautiful, beautiful filling with that this is good enough to eat right now, but we want to enhance that with our casserole. So cleaning up this board. Let's go to that casserole. We have a nice baking dish, and we've already started. And what I have is some phyllo dough, that lovely flaky, flaky pastry, very thin, that the Greeks used in so many dishes, particularly desserts, baklava being one. Now, we have, this was frozen, I allowed that to thaw. I opened the container and rolled out the phyllo dough, and you can see it here. Now, I've covered it with a damp towel because it has a tendency to dry out. It's so thin, and we've already started. We want six, a layer of six slices or sheets of the phyllo. So let's see if I can get some up. Let's turn this all the way over and use it from the bottom side. It might come off a little easier. It's so thin, it's like cigarette paper. It's hard to find an opening. Well, it's sticking together on me. Let's take a few of the top sheets off and we'll go for those in the center. And that might make it easier a little bit. All right, we want to take a sheet of dough. As you can see, this has somewhat dried out on me just while we were getting to this point. So let's see if I can get this now. It's gonna take a little time here and we don't have that kind of a luxury on this show. But let's, if you can't get it off in one piece, just use two pieces or three. It will still work just as well. All right, we want to put a layer of the dough. Normally these come off in nice thin slices, uh, individual sheets. 
All right, I have already four sheets in there, and then we butter those with some melted butter. So we want six sheets of the dough. Let's cover this lest it dry out more before I can get back to it. And into that, we can place our filling. Taking that off, spreading that around, we want to cover that with six more sheets of dough. And we may have a little problem with that today, but uh, let's see, I'm getting a sheet up here fairly well. You might know when you want it to act properly, it's going to give you the worst time, and that's when we're on camera. But that's a little better. We put a sheet of dough, and we butter it. And six sheets of this dough will, with the butter in between each sheet, will cause this pastry to flake up very nicely and to keep separated. Now, we're not going to try all six because obviously my dough is a little bit dried out from sitting under these lights while we were getting ready. But we would do the six. It's not very hard at all in the normal circumstances. But once we've got our six layers of dough on both top and bottom, we now take this to our oven, place that in a 350 degree oven for 50 minutes, and then we'll have a beautiful, beautiful main course. Now, let's pick up a little bit here so I can have some space. Now, we want to go to our cauliflower, take that, and put that in our colander. And let that drain. In the meantime, we'll take a skillet, and we have some butter melted here. We're going to need to bring that up to some heat because we're going to need to make a nice white sauce for that. So let's go to our cucumbers while that's getting ready. And we already have most of the cucumbers peeled and sliced. We need to move on. We're going to be running out of time. I can see that. So let's take our cucumber, take the peeling off, and we want to slice this in very thin slices. All right, that's enough of that. We'll put that into this bowl first. And we need a sauce to go with that. And that's going to be two cups of yogurt, two green onions, All right, a little noisy, but two nice green onions will go into that. A little salt. And some fresh dill weed. Some mint. And we have Oh, about two tablespoons of both the, the dill and the mint. All right, we need garlic for this. And we'll give that a crush, hopefully to get that skin off. 
and do the same with this one. We'll use the knife to crush it and get the garlic nicely blended with the other items. We'll simply crush those, adding the two garlics to our yogurt sauce. We have our sauce and our cucumbers ready. Now, let's go to our cauliflower, which is going to need this sauce. We have some flour. Again, we want to simply cook that flour. We're going to add two cups of hot milk. to our flour and butter mixture, which makes for a white sauce. We'll turn that heat down and let that cook a minute. Let's finish up our cucumbers and our cauliflower. So taking our cucumbers, we'll simply put those onto a serving dish and simply cover that with our Staziki sauce, that's the mint, the dill, the garlic, and the yogurt. And we'll let that sift its way down. We need now to take our cauliflower, stop a minute, put a little bit of salt and pepper into our white sauce, which will be our garnish for our cauliflower. Taking our cauliflower, we simply want to place that on a platter and add to that some chopped ham, which we have already, most of it. We'll add that to the ham we have. We simply sprinkle the ham on top, leaving the parsley lettuce behind because we don't want that. And finish the sauce All right, with a little bit of the chopped parsley that now goes over. Let's spread that ham around. That parsley and white sauce goes on top of our cauliflower. The only thing we need now is to retrieve our beautiful casserole of chicken. Now, that has to cook 50 minutes, and then you remove it from the oven and allow it to rest for 15. And here we are. Our casserole, after being baked for 50 minutes and resting for 15. Beautiful, very crunchy, all nicely cooked. And I have before us our three interesting Greek-style dishes. Our chicken in a very aromatic sauce with vegetables, the phyllo dough, the cucumbers with the staziki sauce, cucumbers, garlic, mint, dill, uh, yogurt, and our cauliflower, ham, and our nice flavorful white sauce. We're going to bring these into the dining room, set them up. In the meantime, here are the recipes. <laughs>
Well, here we are with our Greek meal, that wonderful phyllo dough and the, the tzatziki sauce. This is really delicious. The fragrances are just terrific. Let's go over our dishes again. We have, of course, our chicken dish with the phyllo dough at the bottom and top with all those aromatic vegetables, a wonderful sauce, and all those nice pieces of chicken. That's delicious, and we're going to come back to that. Our cauliflower with the ham and a flavorful white sauce with parsley on it. It's very, very delicious, and it's just great. It's going to go great with that chicken. And a very classic Greek type of salad, fresh cucumber with a staziki sauce. That's yogurt, dill, mint, garlic, and all mixed up and put on top. So let's serve ourselves some of this. Let me start with a little bit of this salad since it's right out here. We're going to put some of that cucumber with that wonderful sauce. I'm telling you, it's one of my favorites. And it is really, really good. And uh, let's go in and get a little bit of our cauliflower and the ham and some of that sauce. And we'll put that on our platter. And then let's go to our nice chicken casserole. I've already taken a knife and cut that into squares, hopefully to make this a little easier to serve. Let's see if I can get one nice square out. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? A nice piece of the chicken casserole. This is so flavorful and delicious. That flaky pastry just gives you a texture and a flavor that's real hard to beat. Greek food at its best. A little white wine will round out these flavors. And a little bread to go along with this will be just great. And we've got it here on the table. So we have our Greek meal. We're going to eat it and enjoy it. And I hope you'll try the same at home. Oh, we'll join you again. In the meantime, Abiento. Oh.